Welcome to Forensics Detectors. Look at these folks, hydrogen peroxide gas detector. I'm Dr. Cozy Gas Meter Gas Detector, and today, guess what? Yes, that's right. I am your hydrogen peroxide gas detector expert, folks. Check it out. Zero to 100 parts per million of H2O2. H2O2. It's hydrogen peroxide. Actually, hydrogen peroxide does not exist naturally on Earth. It has to be manufactured. It's similar to ozone and some other gases like chlorine dioxide and others you one must manufacture the gas and produce it so it can exist but h2o2 is a very useful gas for disinfection one can come call up a company and they come with their vaporized hydrogen peroxide they'll fumigate and spray the vapor of hydrogen peroxide and they will kill all the microorganisms in the space in the indoor space such as any fungus or any virus or any bacteria or any other microorganisms okay folks so in other words it's used for disinfectant purposes in industry and in common life okay folks so h2o2 is actually a very important liquid compound but sometimes it outgasses it vaporizes either we want it to vaporize such as in a VHP situation or it just outgasses randomly so if you're using it in an industrial situation you have to track the vaporized or the gas form of hydrogen peroxide and you need a gas detector like this one to make sure your people are safe that the hydrogen peroxide levels are not going up too high so that when we're inhaling and breathing, we are in a safe situation, okay, folks? Now, this little gadget has all the alarms that you need. LED vibration and buzzer has a big battery last over 48 hours on one charge, okay, folks? And it's got the belt clip right over here, bang, you can pop it on, on your people, on your employees, on your technicians, on whoever you need to protect, and you're good to go, okay, folks? So this is the unit we have here at Forensics Detectors. Inside, it has the electrochemical sensor and all the vaporized hydrogen peroxide gas molecules are hanging around, and this little guy right at the front there will detect those molecules, the H2O2. Okay, now this guy comes in a nice little box just like this all put together here in Los Angeles at Forensic Detectors. It comes with your charging cable, it comes with your sling so you can carry the little guy and it comes with your little calibration cap. Look, this little cap here folks, it's to pop on the sensor at the front and deliver gas to the sensor. Okay, you don't use it like this, you take it off. Okay, only if you're pumping you use the cap. Okay folks, and we calibrate the units here in Los Angeles. Now, H2O2, there's actually no government standard for H2O2. NIST has not developed a gas cylinder standard for H2O2, okay, because it's unstable. It actually decays back to water and oxygen. So what we have to do is use a surrogate gas. We have to use a surrogate gas, such as sulfur dioxide. That's what we use to calibrate the units, okay, folks? Now, do more reading about that. And if you're in the market for such a detector, H2O2 gas detector, ask the question, how do you calibrate the unit? How will I calibrate the unit in the field? Well, the answer here is you will use a sulfur dioxide bottle, one to one ratio. So one ppm of SO2 will equal one ppm of H2O2. And you could fill calibrate, or you could send this back to us and we'll take care of the calibration for you folks. Pretty simple here at Forensic Detectors. It's not complicated. Any complications, give us a ring a ring and we will answer any question you have. Okay, folks. Now. Look Again, look, there's no risk. 30 day money back guarantee, one year warranty. We're here in Los Angeles. We help customers on a daily basis, day in, day out. We're going nowhere. We're here to service you. All your gas detection needs, give the experts a call. You're going to get all the answers to all your questions and you'll be good to go. Okay, I think that's basically it. Till then, be well, be safe, and say hi to your families. See you later.